if you're doing a PhD, a lot of the time you will come to this question, right? Whether to write a monograph or a paper-based thesis. So a monograph is like normally one large uh, work, which is normally 300, 400 pages, where you put all your PhD works over the three, four years of time. But when you do a paper-based PhD, then you basically write three to four papers, three to four journal articles, sometimes three journal articles, two conference articles, and so on. And then in the end, you build up a story, you write an introductory chapter, and you build up the connection between all these uh, three to five papers and so on. And then you submit it as a thesis, right? Which again becomes like in total 200 pages, 250 pages. Uh, it could be less, it could be more depending on departments and so on. But normally it's uh, around 200 pages or something like that. But now my suggestion for the young PhD students is that don't write a monograph write a paper-based PhD thesis. So why is that? One of the first point is that, so when you are doing a paper-based thesis, it's easy to follow your progress, okay? So you finish one paper, you move to the next one, then, then, then the next one, and when the paper is published, you don't have to go back and forth into it, you don't have to do the edits and this and that. So every paper you finish and you can see the progress. In Manograph, it's very hard to see the progress and sometimes at the end maybe you get some major comments and you have to change all the things. So it kind of can get messy, okay? So that's why, that's one of the reasons why I recommend you to write paper-based thesis. But also, the second reason is that, you know, after the PhD, you have to think about it. PhD is not just about writing papers and getting the things published. You know, you have to think about your career as well. Uh, one of the greatest advice I got during my PhD is that don't just do your PhD, but build a career, right? So you have to think about your career. So when you think about your career after PhD, you are going to apply for jobs in different universities. And nowadays, most of the universities, they will require you to submit your list of publications. They want to see that you can publish in different journals, right? In good, high-quality journals. So... If you write a monograph, a lot of the time, you are not going to publish anything during your PhD. Although you can, if you want to, you can, but I see that most people don't, right? So, but if you write a paper-based PhD, you will already have at least a couple of publications by the time you finish your PhD. So then you have a much more stronger applications when you're applying for postdoc or assistant professor positions after the PhD, right? So these are two main reasons why I would recommend you to write a uh, paper-based PhD instead of a monograph. But you might argue that, you know, there are some fields where it's the norm to write like a monograph. Like it could be actually like uh, th there are fields like music and arts and so on. So there it might be the norm to write a monograph and that's okay. I'm mainly talking about the business and management field, but this also applies very well to, in to engineering and medical science fields, right? So I hope you find it useful. Good luck with your PhD.